story. My name is Fabian Schrei. I'm 27 years old. Uh, I'm an industrial designer. We designers, we start every project in finding a problem in our environment, in our all day's routine. And then we try to uh, come up with a solution. For the beehive, uh, it was the issue that we live a quite alienated life in our modern society. So we, we are far away from nature. We buy the honey in supermarkets, in glasses, and we don't know how that honey actually was produced or who made it. Nowadays you have these mass production beehives, the squared boxes. Normal people can't use them, so you need a lot of equipment. And I decided to make a concept that is more accessible. In the beginning of this project, I had a crash course with a beekeeper. He's also a teacher here at Lunds University. He mentioned that his bees, they have issues to find a large diversity since we have like crops and oats growing on the fields, but we don't have a lot of diversity. And if you look back to the cities, then we have parks, we have people who, who decorate their balconies, maybe a roof terrace. We have botanical gardens, and that's where the bees find a large diversity of flowers. And that means a higher quality and a, a larger amount of uh, honey. Uh, I also thought in the beginning, no, it's, it's better on the countryside, but you have a lot of pesticides and fungicides what the farmers put on the fields, and that's like poison for the bees. They have a range of two to three kilometers. They don't go further, then they lose the pheromones of the queen, and then they know they reach the limits. Also, it's quite exhausting for them to fly larger distances. So um, it's good to have a park probably close by. There's one case study I was looking into in New York City on the Times Square. You have beekeepers around the Times Square. So how much more urban can it be than the Times Square in New York? Yeah, I'm called Sven Åke Nilsson. I was born born in 1962. I've been born since then. In 1980, I started working on bees. Först för att få de produktiva, snälla, som man kunde ha dem i stan. Det är, bina trivs alldeles utmärkt inne i stan. Det är många bra växter. Och om då de som har träden inte besprutar äppelträd och så vidare så, så går det alldeles utmärkt. To maintain the bees, so they feed themselves. But what humans usually do in mass production of honey, we, we steal 95% of the honey. But I decided to go another way. It's not for mass production, it's for the amount what you need as a family maybe. So you need a few glasses per month, yeah. So the bees are allowed in my beehive to keep their majority of honey. So we don't have to feed them. In the normal mass production, you, you would feed them with sugar supplements and you would take out the honey. The honey has also an antibiotic effect to the bees. So that's really important to keep the bees healthy. So the, the whole concept is built up on like a different way of harvesting. So you don't break up the whole beehive, so you don't have to enter the whole beehive. For, for the bees that would mean basically that you, you have war. We have a round, a more organic shape that suits the, the bees nature more since bees live in hollow trees. So the bees, they enter the beehive from those sides, we just uh, prepare these standard glasses with beeswax. They would enter the glass from inside the beehive and would naturally accept the glass as a part of the beehive. So they uh, produce the honey and the honeycombs directly inside uh, the glass. And what you then take for harvesting, you take it off, turn it around, uh, maybe plug a new glass into the free slot and you would wait uh, about two hours, they lose the pheromones from the queen and what's, what's left in the glass is only the honey and the beeswax. We have an issue with bees in general. I mean, bees suffer a lot from pesticides, from diseases, um, so we have to protect them and also integrate them in our lives in order to make sure that they will not be extinct. Bees are um, are important for us for the food. They pollinate the plants we rely on. I think for that it's, it's really important that we care about this specific animal 
I often get the answer about uh, how risky it is to interact with bees, but they are so friendly and it's so fascinating about them to find out how they communicate with each other and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting the whole topic and I, I think it's worth it to open up that window for a lot of people.